this garden I actually want to do for my wife. Not for anybody else, but for her, because that at least it takes the rubbish dump away there and put her board and her photo here and decide to call it Irene Solomon Botanical Gardens. Aside from the memorial garden, Cecil Solomon tells us why he extended his gestures further down the road and decided to focus on developing a playground and sporting complex. The reason why I did that is because that is the next empty sp open spot where they dumped rubble. And I deci decided I want to make Curry Street one of the top streets in Grahamstown. Yeah, we're going to make a big tennis court for big elderly people. It has been a tennis court before, we're just going to direct it into a new one again. Yeah, it's going to be a centre fence with a single gate to keep the big people from the small children. Yeah, we're going to have a mini little tennis court for children to start ping pong the ball over the net. So like practice. Practice. Yeah. And so if they go to high schools, they know exactly how to play with a tennis racket. Then we're gonna have Solomon explains the that the projects were funded by KS Auto, uh, the Parks uh, Department, uh, the Makana Municipality, himself, various other local businesses, and, and donations from residents. While the construction is in its early stages, we spoke to key members of the management at the community library, which is directly opposite the building area. It's also very meaningful to us if you see a nice clean uh, area environment, especially opposite the, the, the community library where we uh, currently work. And uh, you know, most of the, 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 the children come to our library, visit our library. They can also use their facilities also after they come and do their homeworks and projects. Ik was eindelijk er in mijn hart geweest dat daar een één mens in die community dank aan die community. Dumping sites have often been a problem in the local colored community. That constant buildup of mess finally became too much for Solomon. The main thing is why I actually start this project is to keep Grahamstown children out of mischief and to keep the rubble dumps away. We fight the, all this rubbish bins, all this rubbish bins. We must fight it, my darling. We must, we must. If we can get rid of all these dumping sections, yeah. oh, it will be beautiful in Grahamstown. As you can see, Cecil Solomon is doing fantastic things in the coloured community in Grahamstown. Apart from this lovely garden and the recreation facilities on that side of the community, he has also requested that recycling bins be put in place. Abner Ackham, RUTV, Grahamstown.